and uh, ended up, you know, what they call California homeless. And uh, I'd bought a BMW, a three series BMW, and I was living in the Walmart parking lot in Huntington Beach. And I thought, man, this is this is pretty high class shit right here. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had leather seats and seat sure. warmers when it was cold. I'm like, damn, where was this at when I was in Georgia living in the bushes, you know? Yeah, behind the uh, goats. Yeah. And uh, but you mentioned something a while ago, man. You said that, you know, when you get out, all your friends would want to mm -hmm. kind of get you back. I didn't have anybody. I spent hours upon hours upon hours talking to a steer wheel or, or mm. you know, doom scrolling on my phone. I, I didn't, that's not because, well, yeah, it is because nobody wanted to hang out with me, but it's also, I didn't want to hang out with anybody. I loved my world being real small because the smaller my world was, the more control I had over it and the more insanity I lived in. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's, that's what I preferred. So I would, uh, tin up as they say, my, uh, my car so nobody could see inside of it. And, uh, just chill all day, all day, and, and just get high. And I had a little job. They, of course, had no idea. And then I remember that same job. I was working in a little restaurant cooking burgers. And uh, somebody broke the back glass out of that restaurant overnight. And I mean, I remember immediately feeling grateful that it wasn't me. I was like, no, nah, I didn't do that, you know, yeah. And because uh, I didn't. But I also, at the same time, I felt very guilty. Like, everybody's going to look at me and think mm. Chris did this, even though they didn't fully realize that I was using it. That makes mm -hmm, sense. Mm -hmm. So that's how for for a bit you uh supported your habit. You lived in your car. Yeah. And worked at a little restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'd uh I remember I'd change in the front seat of the car on the way to work and shower about every two days. I was cooking burgers, so you know that grease yep. is uh, I don't care. I got my dope, you know. Yeah. Um and I kept my gym membership, you know. Twenty four. So take that's a shower. Take a shower. Yep. Yeah. Planet Fitness out in Huntington. Plan <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Planet Fitness, yeah. Huntington Beach. Thank you for keeping me clean. <laughs> Bodily clean. I literally, so, and that, Planet Fitness is like, you know, uh, not that expensive of a membership. Like, there's no excuse to not shower. Yeah. yeah. Like, 10, 15 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, whatever it is, even if it's 50 bucks a month. Yeah. It wasn't that much, uh, for sure, and I couldn't pay that some days. I, I, I specialized, I got a, uh, you know, I got a major... Uh, in crackhead math is what I call yeah. it, right? And I'd pull up at a gas station. I'd have to go meet the dope man. I had a hundred bucks, and I'd do some quick crackhead math and find out exactly how much I could put in my gas tank to the penny, because it was normally like something arbitrary, like two dollars and thirty-seven cent in gas. Uh, which I said I have a BMW, but I always put regular in it anyway because it's cheaper and I can get further. Uh -huh. Buy a pack of cheap cigarettes and still get as much dope as possible with that little bit of money. And I specialize in that, but all that stuff became paramount. To every other interest in my life, right? Nothing else mattered. Um, and that's people. No one else mattered either. Mm. You know, um, 